Well, it seems my mod has gotten decently popular. I guess it's about time that I fix this thing. You see, the one who watches has always been great at jump scaring people. What the? But the one main thing that it was lacking was build up. It always seemed like the one who watches just teleported to you, slapped you across the face, and sent you back to your respawn point. And sure, that might have scared you a little bit, but there was no rising tension, you know, like that thing that happens when the power runs out in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, and you're just sitting there waiting for a jump scare. You know it's going to happen, but you just don't know when. So, in order to fix this, I gave the one who watches multiple different stages. And over time, he will slowly become more prevalent. You will start hearing more sounds, you will start seeing him more and more, until eventually, he will decide to actually come after you and then kill you. So, in stage zero, you won't see him or hear him at all, and he just won't be in your world. But then, on stage 1, that's when things start to happen. Now, I wanted to give just a little bit of eeriness, but in order to do that, I needed to create a brand new variant for the one who watches. This one I like to call the Delusion. It is completely invisible, completely harmless, and it cannot be killed. It'll spawn in somewhere in your world, and if it spots you, then all it does is it just walks up to you and then despawns. Pretty simple, right? Doesn't sound scary at all. Yeah, well, just picture, you know, you're out at night gathering some wood in the forest and you just hear footsteps getting closer from behind and you turn around and there's nothing there. In stage 2, I also added a brand new variant. This time, I added in a stalking version, not to be confused with the staring version. The stalking version is actually visible and looks like the normal version. He will stand there and just watch you from far away, go invisible, get closer and, you know, reappear as usual. But if he gets within, I think, 20 to 30 blocks of you, he will just despawn. So at this point, he's still keeping his distance from you. I added this in because I figured it would emphasize the actual watching part of the one who watches just a little bit more. And in stage two, the delusion is also still there. So you will hear footsteps and start to see the one who watches in the distance. But then, on stage 3, the real one who watches is now in your world. Now, his spawn rate is cut in half. So you will have the delusion, the stalking, and the normal staring version. But the staring version is very rare on stage 3. But it is a possibility. And now this is a good time to mention that I actually changed how the staring version works. You see, originally I would have him go invisible and then travel a distance and then reappear. But that distance that he traveled was so big it looked like he just teleported out of nowhere. And I didn't want that. I wanted it to give the feeling like he was slowly moving closer. So I basically reduced the amount of time that he can be invisible for. So now it definitely gives a lot more Slenderman-like feel to it, at least in my opinion. And on stage 3 is also when the hanging version can be found. And I also updated this guy too. You see, originally I wanted it so that when the player got close, he would drop down. So in order to do this, I created a box radius and he would check to see if the player entered it and then he would drop down. 
But the problem with that is that if he was up on a very tall ceiling, then he wouldn't drop down because the radius of his square was not large enough. But if I increase the radius too much, then he would just drop down before you even got close. So instead, I fix this with ray casting. I put a line straight down that goes all the way to the ground. And if you cross that line, he will drop down on top of you. So yeah, have fun with that. Oh, but before we move on to stage four, make sure to subscribe. Otherwise, the one who watches will be outside your window tonight. In stage four, the one who watches is back to its normal spawn rate and the stalking version is gone. Yippee! But the delusion version is still here. And then finally, on stage five, the delusion is gone, but the hallucinations are back. They still jump scare you, but I changed the jump scare a little bit. So I think it's a little bit scarier. It's still not the best, but it's okay. Now each stage lasts about 20 to 40 minutes each. So you'll definitely be able to play a little bit before he starts coming after you. And no, I did not add custom animations, but that will be coming very soon. So yeah, join the Discord, subscribe if you're new, like the video if you like the video. But anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye.